Welcome, Ephucus. Okay, so Ephucus, I'm Juanita, and we are going to be looking at what is going on over the next two weeks for you, and maybe how we can help with that. Okay, um, the Sacred Forest Oracle is what we will be using and clarifying with Osho Zen Tarot, which I did kind of was kind of like maybe I should change it up, but nah, I I love the Osho Zen, so we're using it um so yeah so let me just give these one more quick little shuffle okay so radio here we go okay so first up we have toadstools growth interesting if you guess what is going on here sorry let me just show you all really interesting toadstools growth I, I feel like for some of you, there's a situation that you've been in for quite a long time. And for some of you, you may have lost, not lost, well, I want to say lost because that, yeah, because that's how it feels. You feel like you've lost the truth of who you are. You feel like you've lost yourself. And I, and I, and I want to say to you that you're not lost because the truth of who you are is still there. It's just covered by... It's covered by how do I even put this? It's covered by I don't know how to put it. Sorry. It, it will come. It will come. So just bear with me. It's covered by something you do not recognize. It's kind of like you look at yourself and you're like, who even are you? I don't even know who you are anymore. Flowering. And she's got flowers growing on her. And yet I feel like, oh, I feel like you've been poisoned. Not, not literally, not literally. This is very complex. <laughs> Let's just have a look. Flowering. Aloneness. Fucus, what is going on? There's a light inside of you that feels like it's not being able to be shone or it hasn't been shone or you, some kind of growth. Okay, okay, being on your own will allow you to grow. Some of you may be on your own and you feel quite lonely, um, but it's necessary for you to be able to re it's like recreating yourself in the sense because what's happened is all around you it, it is like you've grown you you've kind of become this person that you don't recognize because as you've kind of gone throughout your life um it's been other people's opinions other people's expectations other people's wants and needs put onto you that you've um it's kind of like you've been conditioned into something that you don't even recognize anymore okay so it's sort of like 
needing to lead the way um, for yourself, letting your own internal light shine so that you can actually flower into your own creation, if you like. And so when I say poisoned, that might be a bit harsh, but it's kind of like you've been injected with all these ideas, in a sense, um, that aren't really yours. And this is why you don't really recognize who you are. Maple spirit. Man, that took a while to get there. Sorry, like we're like five minutes later and it's like, ding. Um, yeah, but that's okay. You should see Libra is reading. Like it took me the whole reading to get there. And every time I thought I had it, then I got stumped again. Um, but that's okay. That That's the fun of it. Maple spirit. Generosity. You might have Libra in your chart. So have a look at that if that's the case. Generosity. Generosity to yourself. Give yourself the nurturing that you need. Do I even show you this? Sorry, getting carried away here. Letting, it kind of like, I feel like actually letting yourself truly be who you are. And when, you know, maybe it is that you're truly a toast. I don't mean this cruelly, okay? I mean this in a loving way. Maybe you are actually the toad still, um, but what has been put upon you is that you've been, you know, created to be this flower because people, like, wanted you to be these flowers because that's what worked for them. But you're actually a toad still and it's okay, you know, but what you... But then, oh, see, maybe they told you you were a toad still and that you were crap and, and, and horrible and so be a flower but you're actually this maple tree I don't know but you know generosity being generous to yourself accepting generosity as well if you kiss but I want to say allowing yourself to grow into the truth of who you really are a focus is you giving to the rest of the world, being generous to the rest of the world by saying, hey, here I am, here's the truth of who I am. And that gives the world the gift of you, being generous enough to share yourself with the world. Because man, what you have inside of you, this light, that leads the way. Hooey. Tell you what. That shines. You're going to be blinding some people. I tell you now. Yes. Let your light shine. I'll have to write this down. Let your light shine. <laughs> Sounds kind of like. Really cliche. But when we're talking about it here. It's like. Let it shine. Like, I'll think of something else, but that's just to give me a reminder. Okay, so possibilities. Yeah, look, the, the, the possibilities are endless. You know, this eagle's flying above the terrain, looking at all the possibilities that are there. Yeah, the eagle is, is the timing of the eagle is so impeccably precise. Like, like the eagle has it down to a fine art. Right, and, and I feel like this is something that, man, if you kiss, you have, you have this ability that is like, going to blow everyone's mind. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. I feel like, if you kiss, this, um, I feel like, okay. Uh, uh, the, the thunderbolt may is no sorry right that let's start again the thunderbolt is to create a solid foundation the thunderbolt happens because the foundation was not solid the thunderbolt happens to recreate and regrow okay um wiping everything out that no longer serves us and um and gives us the chance to create something new Okay, it gets rid of the things that are not purposeful in our lives and it just is is very, it's, it's just not a pleasant experience always. 
okay um but we can actually create the thunderbolt ourselves by choices that we make you know um so this thunderbolt could be expected or it may be unexpected okay depending on your circumstances it may have already happened as well hummingbird spirit joy i love that this has come after uh, this like joy this is what this is what happens because what happens is the thunderbolt wipes everything out it's like a forest fire right it wipes everything out but what happens is all this regrowth comes about yeah and um, these sorts of trees here can now grow for the hummingbird to suckle on I don't know if they have I don't know about maple trees and hummingbirds and all, so you know just saying but you know it allows a whole new a whole new plantation to to grow okay and it really does clear the way for that um so you know understanding that the journey there are joyful things along the way and to really look out for those okay to appreciate those in a voice and schizophrenia okay so there's um for some of you there's a decision that you need to um make and you're not too sure which way to go you're hanging in the balance and um and i feel as though um with this possibilities card here it really is about rising above um and looking at all your options okay uh and seeing and, and, and actually not seeing, but hearing this inner voice, listening to this inner voice, um, allowing it the chance to speak, okay? So quietening the mind um, so that the inner voice has a chance to speak up, okay? Um, some of you are feeling really, really vulnerable right now uh, because of this indecision. Okay, and I want to say to you, Fugus, there is no wrong decision. Okay, because whatever decision you make, you're going to learn from. Okay, so, yeah, um, it's kind of like you just need to make that decision. Okay, and then the path that you choose, walk it with joy. Even if there's hard times, be joyful in the fact that you are growing and you are learning from these things, okay? Meandering pathway, flow. This is about this path, right? Choosing a path to walk along and then head towards the destination. And no matter, again, no matter what path you, you choose, it's, it might be winding. You know, you might be looking at two paths and one looks straightforward. But your heart, your inner voice is telling you, don't go that way. Go this way. This is the way you need to go. And so inside, you know, it's kind of like that thing of like, what looks good on paper may not always be the best thing for you. You know, um, so, but I want, I want to say about this that, you know, the pathway both pathways might look like, oh God, no matter what I do, it's, you know, it's going to be hard. And maybe it will be, you know, but you're not going to start the journey until you make the decision to put one foot in front of the other. So this is about putting one foot in front of the other and knowing that you have this internal light here to guide the way. You just need to let it speak, okay? Some of you are scared of the unknown, which is understandable. That's a natural thing, you know, um, and it is facing this fear and doing it anyway. Breaking free, okay, the rebel. Getting, see how these chains are broken here? He's like chucked them off his feet and gone, I'm not dealing with that. Nobody's got time for that. I have the eagle here with me. We're going to fly high. We're flying up above everything else and working out the best thing, okay, and, um, and, and it's not really about being rebellious and making silly choices, that's not what this is about, okay, it's about 
allowing yourself the freedom to move forward, to be unapologetically who you are, right? To let go of what everyone says you should be and to be who you are, right? Compromise. Letting go of stubbornness. So I feel for some of you, letting go of stubbornness. And, and this could be for you, if you because learning how to compromise, okay? Um, because some of you just bow down instead of standing up and saying, actually, that doesn't work for me, but I'm happy to do this. And, and finding a win-win situation rather than just always being the one to bow down, okay, but rather than always being the one to step back. Because sometimes it's like people come in so hard that you're just like, oh, what's the point? They're going to get their own way anyway, so might as well just agree and save the, you know, the bickering and the fighting or whatever. But it's time for you to start creating a new path for yourself so that you can be who you truly are, okay? Spirit Guardian of Winter. There's something, if you kiss, that you have been holding back on. It's like it's like this, this house in this globe here doesn't have a chance to really participate in the world because it's stuck in the globe. And I feel like it, that's the case for some of you, uh, that you've kind of like you're stuck in this globe. And it could very well have been that once upon a time people put you in the globe, but now you keep yourself in the globe. Because that's what you know. That's your comfort zone. It's like you won't let yourself go any further than what this globe will allow. And it's time for you to actually break out of that. Okay. Um, yeah. It's time for you to explore. This says slowing down. Okay. And, and retreat. Okay, yep, so just, it could be just doing one step at a time. Just take it slow, baby steps. You don't have to do everything at once, okay? Um, you can get, take one step. If this is so new and scary for you, if you, because you can take one step. You can be like, okay, how does that feel? What's going on? You know, <laughs> and then take another step. And be like, okay, you know, and then as you go along, you're going to take those steps with more ease. And because what happens is, as you go along, the water's going to come up and it's going to touch your feet. And you'll be like, oh, what's that about? Like, you know, and you'll start to go in through the shallows, deeper and deeper, until you're comfortable. You know, it's like kind of making the uncomfortable comfortable, in a sense. And this is gonna what is going to allow yourself to have this rebirth, okay, to have this growth. Okay. Um I feel like for some of you this this thunderbolt has happened. It's done. There's some of you that are so afraid of this happening again that you won't allow yourself to move forward. But it really is about just really breaking out. Um, of that shell and going okay we're gonna do this now okay wood nymph beauty wow oh I like this see she's gone into the water and she's washed all the flowers away she's washed it all away she's kept some around her head here because they serve her and that's okay you can keep some Right? You don't have to get rid of everything. There's some things you can keep. But she's really given herself, it's like this cleansing. She's given herself this cleansing. And there's people here who are supporting her going, yeah, they, you know, there are people who will actually be quite happy for you to be you and they'll accept you anyway. Are you going to accept you anyway, if you kiss? 
new vision, having a new vision for yourself. This popped out first, though. <sighs> because, yeah, see? This is you sitting in the kitchen, pretending to be on the beach, and pretending like, oh, I'm having a glorious time here at the beach. You're not actually at the beach. It's about you having a new vision for yourself to break out of the house. Some of you actually don't go out much. Some of you need to recon reconnect with nature and um, really give yourself the freedom to start adventuring out, venturing out, having an adventure, right? Going out into the world. And if that's scary for you, one step at a time, one step out the door and go back in. Next day, one step out the door, stay there for one minute longer, right? Bit by bit by bit. And you can apply that an analogy to anything in your world. Patience, nurturing yourself, allowing yourself the time to go slow. Things happen slowly, but this is a new cycle for you. So really looking, like getting excited about what it is that you want to birth for yourself. Okay, we have secret spring success. Yes, look, spring is the beginning of lots of new things like the flowers start coming up, lambs are born. It's new, right? Rebirth, yeah, rebirth. Bad things happen in order for us to start something new. And it can be painful and it can be hard. But there can be music that comes out of things like that. We can create the music. It's up to us to do so. This is a new journey for you, Apucus. And you can have success. Let your light lead the way. Have faith in yourself that you can achieve this here. Yeah? Adventure, yes. Go on an adventure. I'm not scared. <laughs> okay, harmony. Look at this. There's so many like, well, maybe it, only one. Um, <laughs> I'm like, there's all these tens here. And I'm like, there's one. <laughs> and now there's two. Um, you see, this, this ten here is a tough, tough ending. This 10 here is to the most amazing thing you could ever imagine. Okay, so it really is going on this adventure because this is what you're heading towards, to harmony. You're going on an adventure to harmony, right? It's going to be successful. Yeah, look at these cards here. How beautiful for you, Ifucus. I love this. No matter what you choose, you're going to be successful at it, at it. Just treat it like an adventure and learn everything that you learn along the way. Like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. You know, even if you trip over a stump on the forest and it's like, oh, I grazed my knee and it's like, it's okay because my body knows how to heal itself. It's all going to be fine, you know. Like, yeah, try to see the good in the bad, but that doesn't mean to say that ignore any healing that needs to be done. Okay, Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. Oh, okay, okay. Look what she's holding in her hand here. She's holding this globe here to me. This is what I'm seeing. She's holding this globe because you've seeked refuge in this globe for a really, really, really long time. Okay, and this is you. This is you holding the globe in your hand now. This is what you're heading towards, okay? This is what, this is this, this is where I was before. But what is in the globe now? This Pegasus, because you have broken out and you've had this new vision and you've broken the chains that have held you down for so long, Fugus, and you are growing in to who you truly are. My gosh. This is like, wow, this is so cool. I love this. Yep, you're on this new journey, okay? This is the key to get out of your head. Don't let your mind pollute 
your vision. Don't let your mind pollute the clear path, okay? Because this could very well get in the way of you proceeding along the way, okay? This could get in the way of you building the solid foundation that you want to build. So just be really aware of this, okay? Be very, very mindful of what it is that you're thinking and what you are speaking, okay? And I also want to say what you are vibing, because your vibration is what you attract back to you, okay? And your thoughts and your um, words all add to that, okay? So be really aware of that, O Fucus. Ancient oak spirit strength. Oh, I love this. I love this. You see, O Fucus, you have this internal strength. That maybe you're not even aware of. But boy oh boy. There have been times where it's tried to. You've seen glimpses of it I feel. You've seen glimpses of it. And it's kind of like this. You know being able to walk this path. Um, but it's time to fling open these doors. And let this internal strength glow. Like it's not just going to light the way. It's going to light up the whole flipping world. I'm sorry you know it really really is and um i feel like your expansion is going to be way bigger than what you could ever 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 dream of and for some of you that's actually quite scary um but just remembering we're doing one step at a time i can't even find the cards like it's all such a mess right now <laughs> one step at a time Having faith, trusting, okay, trusting in the inner voice to lead the way, okay, um, because the inner voice is the one that knows. The inner voice is the one that talks to the harmony and the, and, and the inner voice is showing you the way to get to this, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited for you so exciting like I really need to know what happens <laughs> it's like you know it's like the end of a really good movie and it's like what happened next like I you know good movies I'm like I don't want the movie to end yet like just because it's happy ending keep showing us <laughs> but yeah um yeah moment to moment it really is about living moment to moment Opening your eyes, though, Ephucus, opening your eyes to see that although there's these path, these stones here, okay, sorry, let me start again, because this guy, to me, it's like he's walking blindly, he's got his eyes closed by choice, okay, by choice, so first off, open your eyes, okay, um, and he thinks that the stepping stones are the only stones that are there for him to walk on, okay, and as he puts his next step foot forward, he's like, eyes closed, like, oh, I really hope I'll make it. And, you know, instead of opening his eyes to see where he's actually placing his foot. But here's the thing. Very faintly, there are other stepping blocks here that he could actually step on. He just, his eyes aren't open for him to see this, to see these opportunities that lay in front of him. And so I feel like this is a matter of you clearing the way, okay? Where's that card? Because I really need it to make my point right now. Here it is. Sorry. <laughs> Cleansing yourself, okay? Of all these, I want to say impurities that have been placed upon you okay and this could also be clearing these thoughts from your mind that don't serve you right that may have even um given this you know any toxicity the chance to grow you know so really um clearing that out so um, that you can take these steps forward, okay, um, and, and be very conscious of, um, of the direction you're heading in, even if it is unknown, you know, just being, well, 
really it is about being in the present moment so that you can you can enjoy everything that is going on okay nothingness fancy ending with this i love this <sighs> funny that this has just come up this is like you're like i feel like i'm going into the darkness and i don't know what to expect and it scares the living daylights out of me and that may very well be the case but i want you to know that in the darkness is the no thingness okay the darkness actually is what holds everything okay sometimes we go into these dark night of the souls so that we can have this rebirth yeah and so that we can actually start again and start something new okay and you will see the beauty in the darkness okay um and this is also about going into this space where nothing exists so that you can allow this inner voice to speak and help guide the way to bring through this harmony to help you along this journey okay a few kiss um so good luck good luck um i i do feel like over the next two weeks this is really about you tapping in um communicating with this inner voice letting this you know and just take one step at a time that's all it is and if over the next two ne weeks you take one step that's great it's a step forward remember that it's always a step forward okay a few kiss please share this video please subscribe and like and comment um i want to help as many people as possible along their journey so this is the way we can do that together okay take care of your lovely selves see you bye bye